Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Luke, and today we are playing some more Crooked Man. Yes! Um, and, uh, we just got to the school. Uh, we just dealt with whatever was happening at that hotel. I'm still not exactly sure. There seemed to be, like, a man that kind of looked like the Crooked Man. I'm still not exactly sure if that is the Crooked Man that the game is titled after or what I'm guessing so because that's a lot of pictures that I've seen online look like him but um, we are now at the school because apparently it was related hey this school is from the leaflet then maybe he is here after all we're looking for the person that lived in David's apartment before him and for some reason there is this abandoned school with all the furniture still in um, I don't know exactly why, but let's see if we can just do a little bit of exploring. Okay, so far, so, um, a memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissures in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. Huh. Cardboard boxes. Nothing in the trash? Nope. Good sign, good sign. Oh wait, I think we missed something. What's this? List of faculty. Don't know how this is gonna help us. <laughs> uh, but let's just keep on going. What's over here? Firmary. Locked. Okay, I'm assuming that those people that were listed under the different departments, like faculty-wise, I'm so oh, this is one of the people. Stacy. Oh, infirmary key. Ah. What's this? Notice about keys. Room managers for the for the month do not don't lose the keys. Okay, so there's a little list of people. Um don't know how that's gonna help us. And I let's go back over here. Uh, I think we should be able to get in here now. Oh, wait, what's this? Ah, dang it. The way to the lecture hallway is locked. Okay, drats. Let's go back over here and unlock it. Alright. Trash can is empty. Book about medical treatment. Oh. Found a parlor key in one of the drawers. I don't think there's anything over here. Ooh, sleepy time. Nope. Okay, no such luck. Let's go back to the parlor. I think that's on the second floor. I don't know, there aren't any other rooms. What's this? Okay, that's not gonna be that helpful. Oh, that was creepy. Was there someone there? I couldn't see really. It seems them in I couldn't really see them in the dark. It's about the vents. Let's see. Oh shit, we didn't even look to see what this was. Lefty's Lewis. Is that someone's name? Someone needs to take out their trash. Miscellaneous um box of tools. The whole box would be too heavy to take. I could probably take two tools from it. Okay, we'll just take the screwdriver and the crossbow. Or crowbar. <laughs> crossbow is an interesting tool. Um, covered in an exam. What's that on the sink? Or is that a sink? No, it looks like a chest. An open security box with nothing in it. That's not that much help. Uh, let's go back over here. Um, I don't know. I was gonna say, it looked like there weren't that many locked doors, but now I'm going, oh, we can go unlock this one. Okay. Let's see. One. What's this? I guess it's a wire art or something? Not sure what it's supposed to be though. Hmm. 
Apparently it's made by Ray Twine. One of the lecturers? Kinda looks like numbers, doesn't it? Maybe I'm just going to do detail too much. Uh, okay, I think we got everything on this floor. Let's go up one more. I keep on going into these rooms and not looking. Oh, Ray Twine, this is the person that made all the art. Looks like some sort of diary. Indeed, law too needs a numeric represent representation. After all, basic things such as an on and off switch, zero or one, can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things in a way of thinking, I hold in high esteem, though perhaps it's more artistic notion that captivates me more than mathematics. Lots of books. Why does this law school have so many math books? I'm terrible at math. Oh! Maybe those were numbers. Okay, wasn't it 101? Oh, no, it was like 10, 101. What was the last one? Okay, we're gonna have to go back to that because I think that's, that's probably important. Uh, friends more. Let's see what's see here. It looks like some sort of diary. I lost the notes with my security code password, thus I couldn't get into the computer room, and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in the book somehow. I should go look. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget it, but that's risky. But if you just use whatever, then you have my problem. Okay, well at least we, we found a couple things. We need to get into the reference room and we need to find a list of ideas, or ID, ideas, IDs for the professors or the teachers. Um, let's go back, where's Ray, Tr where's Ray Twine? I don't even know what I'm saying. Andrew Robinson, John Keith, okay. Must be on the floor below, I guess. Oh, wait, didn't we have to go? We have to figure out what the last password is. Where were they? Is that over here? Reference room. That's where we need to get into. I think it's right here. Yeah. Okay, let's go around. I'm gonna write this down. Okay, so it's definitely looks like a 10 on top. 101 and then four ones. Okay, I wrote that down. Okay. Now I have to go back upstairs again. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay, upstairs we go. And I think it's in here. Yep. Okay, so 10, that equals 2, 101 is 5, and 1111 is 15. Okay, so 25, 15. Okay, let's see, I, I guess that makes sense. I don't like how they do these puzzles, they're so annoying. Um, I'm not the best at puzzles either. Nope. Where's this Ray guy? Not on this floor, that's for sure. Okay. Lefty Lewis. What is that? Okay. I keep on saying this. Lefty Lewis, okay. Um, I think this is the reference room, yep. Computer room. Parlor. Where where is this Ray person? Oh, his room is unlocked, isn't it? Oh, maybe we have to unlock that chest that's in his room. Ray twine. Okay. So twenty five fifteen. 
Do you need a key to the reference room? Yes! Okay. Uh, let's go over there now. And see, I like how like you it like unlocks like a chain of stuff. So now we have to unlock there, and then someone left their key in a book. They think. Wow. Jeez, that's kind of scared me. Oh, oh. I thought like something hit him. Hey, who was that? Who you be? What are you doing in this school? You shady punk. Shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name, or I'll call the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Hmm, you sure? As if a robber would say they were, they were one. What do you want, a permit? Now you tell me who you are, if you're going to ask. I'm D. I graduated from the school, so I came to bring back some memories. D? That's your name? Not actually the oddest name I've heard, but... It's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell some shady guy my real name? <laughs> Gee, what a little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wandering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. What the hell's his problem? Didn't he even didn't even apologize? He pissed me off. What's that? Okay, what's that girl's name that we helped out in the hotel room, um, or the hotel? Oh, I can't remember her name. Like it's with an A, but wasn't <laughs> all I can think of is Aya. <laughs> she was a lot nicer than that guy, <laughs> but we'll see. Let me know if you in the comments if you remember what that girl's name is. I think it was like. Amber? No, I just don't know. Oh, we probably should save. I just didn't even think about that. Okay. What's this? They say that people despise those who think similarly to them, or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that they can hide in any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred, though they are two-faced deep down. They can make that ideas seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have affection for them. The improbable is not, in, is not impossible. I never understood philosophy stuff like that. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you just dislike people you don't like? Hmm. Okay, we're just going to go down the road till we find... This book. Wow, this room is huge. Uh, no such luck now. Records of books checked out in and out. I thought I was going to get a list. George White, a signatory of the Declaration of Independence. A signatory of the Declaration of Independence, he is sometimes called the father of American law for teaching the first class in, in jurisprudence. Oh. Book of... don't know. An elevator for carrying books to the basement. There's no power, so it won't... it doesn't work. The shelves in the basement are for staff only. Those who require books from the basement must, must sign a form and be accompanied by staff. Taking any, any materials out is prohibited. Um, hmm. Okay, who is the one that was saying something about leaving the book? So we checked every single one, so there should be something in here. Hmm. Uh, not that I see unless 
we can use. What? <laughs> you can't screw that. Screw. There's something written behind this. One six four seven. Is it a code for something? One six four seven. One six four seven. Okay. We have to figure out what that is for, though. I doubt it's for any of these rooms. So let's go back down and go to the offices. Window beds for one of them. I think we went. You're supposed to go up. Ray Twine. It can't be him. Friends more. Nope. It doesn't give us the option to input it, so it can't be that person. Is it this person? Can we use it here? Oh, wasn't there a teacher that was in charge of law? No. Six digit pin. Oh. John Keith's room. Hey. Okay, one. Contain the key to the lecture hallway. Oh, useful. Crap, what was that? <laughs> what, what, what? He followed us, no fair. Why, why is it here? Back in the hotel, I, I thought I killed it. That makes the weirdest noise ever. Damn it, I, I'll think about it later. Gotta run. Oh crap. Um, how are we gonna get rid of this guy? How are we gonna get rid of him? Nothing to to like get used to burn him this time. I'm gonna s oh I can't save, damn it. Well the staring contest. What happened to the knife that we were using, by the way? Ah! Damn it. Okay, attempt number two. Jeez. Um. Oh yeah, we have to use the screwdriver. <laughs> Every single time the crew man gets me. Okay, one six four seven, and now we can go and use that. I am definitely gonna save before we do this again. I don't know what we can do to trap him in there though. Like, there's no way to burn him. Wait, trap him? Do you think? Don't think we can lock the door, can we? Oh, let's get the key first. Okay, saved. Okay, here he comes. One, six, four, and seven. Okay. That's such a loud noise. <laughs> what, what? What? Oh, I can just fast forward to this. Because we already heard it. Oh crap, here he comes. 
The monster's coming in. I'm not going in. I wonder if I can lock him in. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Yes! Haha! Haha! -ha. I'm smarter than you. Surely that would keep him in. Whew. But this is so bizarre. I mean, back in the at that hotel. And the hotel's hours away, isn't it? Could it really be following me? Why? How? Damn it, this is making me nuts. Or am I just going crazy? Or am I already going crazy? Oh. <laughs> am I just hallucinating this thing? I guess. Thanks again. Oh, then again. <laughs> I can't read today. It did attack Sissy. Oh, that's her name. It wasn't an A. So it can't be my imagination. It exists. Monsters, monster that it is. D. If that monster's here, I have to warn D. Tell him he's got to get out of the out of here. Okay, I don't even remember what we picked up out of that room. Oh, we picked the, picked the lecture hall room key. That'll be useful. Okay, let's save and we're gonna open that up. Down one more. There we go. Ta-da! Let's see. The keyhole is painted over. It won't open. Why would they paint over? That's really weird. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is, for us, the best day of our lives. Because today we leave the nest of our school and begin to climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from this school and we owe a great debt to it. Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need a little more time into, to, into their studies. <laughs> But these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope of for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. That was a short speech. D? How did you get into this lecture hall room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Uh, you forget I'm a graduate here. I know all the secret ways, dummy. Huh, well, what are you listening to, a tape? Yeah, for my graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? I was getting nostalgic for this place, and even abandoned, it really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, lay off. Yeah, I couldn't pass the par exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Next up is going to be my sixth attempt. <laughs> Jeez. There's lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed it in one shot. Being a lawyer's been my dream since I was a kid, so I was happy when I got accepted here. Felt I was one step closer to making it come, come true. The work was rough, and I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next year for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time in any more, and I'll be way behind my classmates. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's sort of ex hard to explain. There's a kind of monster here. It will attack you if you f if it finds you. I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering in abandoned school, but damn, you're really nuts. Huh. Seriously, a monster. 
Even little girls don't believe in that stuff. You're, you're being a total doofus. Do you enjoy making fun of people? And I don't think I'm much older than... Ahem, don't quarrel with me, all right? I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You'd be no match for me. Ugh. Do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will. Do what I like. Thanks. Like I need a shady punk like you tell me what to do around my alma mater. Rude. Hey, Paul. I... I got in. What? Really? You got in to flight school? That's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. You can do whatever you put your mind to. Ha, thanks. But it still doesn't make me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be. And make sure to give me a ride. I love to fly around above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. I'm not going to that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. I wonder if D's like that. Okay, we're going to go and pick this up. Because it's been blinking at me this entire time. The Julius New School newspaper is posted up. Big hand from Michael. Today we can we must pay tribute to Michael Stam, wrote a dissertation inserted an ad in the scholarly book Rico Collection. It will be a great achievement of something, and he make a great contribution to our school. He is in Professor Sidney Peterson's class and majoring in global jurisprudence. Hmm. I think I remember hearing looking at that. Oh, it's just blinking at me constantly. Okay. Well, we're going to end it here, guys. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. As always, if you guys could hit that like button, too, it would be appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.